Hello and good morning, you two. How are you doing? We are doing well, Arrow. Great to be connected. Absolutely. I've been wanting to talk with you guys for a long time because I, I, I'm going to be just like probably everybody else. Is this story about you? Did you have this moment? Because this moment here feels, feels way too real. I mean, the book is just amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Arrow. Yeah, and you, you know, you hit the nail on the head. This is absolutely the like the conversation that really, really happened. For you to share this story, I mean, I can't imagine sitting down with 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 Henry and saying, "Let's let's let's create a story," and 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 not only that, let's go ahead and let's start getting readers at a young age that are going to soon to be adults, and these books are going to be there for their children. Yeah, that right. I mean, that's that is the the, the magic of uh, remembering a good idea and then writing it down and then sharing it with the world. And uh, you know, this is it's it's kind of amazing to have a conversation and then realize, do you know, what? you're actually having a conversation with the entire because you know our books, my books have been translated into over twenty five languages. Wow! And this book already has been has uh, the, we've sold the rights to uh, probably seven different publishers around the world. Um, so, you know, the book's not even out yet, and it's being translated into other languages. So, we are thrilled. I love the title. How did it come to you? All we need is love and a really soft pillow. I I love my pillow. My pillow is my life. <laughs> right, pillows are, 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 are just a wonderful thing. I think I counted about six on my bed recently, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, pillows are awesome. And Henry loves his pillow. Henry loves sleep. I mean, he's, uh, tw- how old are you now? Forgot. Oh, uh, like 50, something 50? like that. 50? You seem like you're 50 <laughs> years old. Um, <laughs> Henry, how long have we been working together? About 12 years. 12, yes, 12 years. So Henry, Henry loves sleeping. Uh, he loves, uh, he loves his pillow. And, um, we, uh, we're, yeah, so we're big fans of pillows. And that was one of the inspirations for this book. Uh, we were on on the beach on Cape Cod during COVID. Really? And of course we were dealing with that, that big old crazy storm that blew in for th- two or three years. And we had this just amazing little father son moment uh, walking along the beach. And I just told Henry, I'm like, Henry, you know, life is good. You know, life is, it's, this is going to be okay. All shall be well. I said, you got me, I've got you, we got love. What yeah. else do we need? Which is a rhetorical question, but then Henry, what did you ch- you chirped in? What did you, all we need is love and <laughs> a soft pillow. Of course, we need a soft pillow. Yeah. So, so I said, well, this is true. We need a soft pillow. So, and then then we started adding to that list, you know, a bar of chocolate, yes. um, a roof, uh, books, uh, and a roof, right? So, uh, and then by the end of the book, they've they've got you know lots and lots of stuff collected, and. Uh, and then a, a, I, I don't know if you want us to to share the ending or no, no, I, I, because I because I love the ending and and I don't want to spoil that for readers and stuff because I want them to be able to get to that final page and feel what I hope that mm-hmm. I felt in my heart because I mean it, it, it because oh. to me it is it is a chapter of life and sitting down with with a very little one uh, and and reading this story I mean it's because it teaches them. We're going to build. We're going to replenish. We're going to. We're going to have all of this, and that's what I love about this story is that you do it in steps. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The the um, uh, and again, without giving things things away, uh, you know, the there is uh, this collection of stuff that in at the end of the book they don't have anymore right? and they do have to rebuild. But where do you rebuild from? If you've got someone who loves you and cares about you, mm-hmm. that's exactly where to start. Um, you know, that hug, uh, after, you know, whatever, um, you know, storm has blown in through your, your life. Sometimes there are physical storms now with climate change. I mean, there are a lot of people who Ooh. they have lost everything. They've yeah. lost everything through fire or storm. Um, and then there are people who lose things because, you know, their financial difficulties mm-hmm. um, or it's, you know, a relationship that they've lost and they got go through a lot of trauma, a lot of storms. And, you know, in our books, we use metaphor to help people deal with some big problems, big, you know, some big, scary problems. And, uh, you know, you can do it in a whimsical, very gentle, caring way. And that's the opportunity with a good picture book is that you can have those uh, meaningful conversations 
with kids who are kind of still figuring out life and like how, you know, is this the end? You know, are we ever going to have our things back or, mm-hmm. um, or are things going to feel better? And, you know, so we hope that this book helps people feel, you know, lead with that message. All shall be well, as long as you got someone who loves you. Let me ask you a question. Are you going to market these characters and make them into like squishable pillows? Because I mean, I could, I could <laughs> totally see these two being squishables. <laughs> that you know, uh, several people have asked, "Where? When are the plush plushies coming?" <laughs> and uh, um, they are definitely. We, you know, I wanted to design these characters. Actually, Henry did a couple of sketches, and I, I add a little fur to the characters. And and by the time we finished, I'm like, Henry, these these I I want these as as uh, and they would actually make good pillows too. Yeah, uh, they would. So, state. Stay tuned. We actually, Scholastic, who is our fabulous publisher of this book, for a promotional item, they they took some of the artwork from the book and created pillowcases. So um, they've been sprinkled across the country. If you're lucky enough to go to an independent bookstore uh, near you, um, they may actually have one of these limited edition pillowcases. But honestly, now that I've seen my stuff on on pillowcases, I'm like, I think I'm ready to do uh, bed sheets and curtains and <laughs> I can do so I'd love it. to I'd love to do all that <laughs> you guys have got to come so. back to this show anytime in the future I love where your heart is and I know that there's going to be more and more and more books absolutely we got more more in more in store so thank you for letting us share our story when uh, yeah all we need is love and a really soft pillow I love it be brilliant today okay you two Thank you. Thanks, Arrow.